Gaza can be extremely bleak for so Photojournalist Tanya Habjuka has plenty of experience capturing Palestinian struggle. Her latest work focuses on the way they cope with their reality. You never know when something either absurd, uh, ridiculous, even amusing from a black uh, humor standpoint or, or more ominous is going to happen here. Her pictures include young female athletes practicing javelin throwing beside the Israeli separation wall, the first female surfer in Gaza, a woman with a bouquet taking a walk in a dark tunnel from Gaza to Egypt for a wedding, a boy catching a quick swim at an Israeli park in the occupied West Bank. And these furniture makers also beside the wall waiting hopefully for a customer. And they would just be sitting out there on the side of the road right by the wall having an argila, having tea, smoking. And I, I would think there's something here, there's something there. Tanya belongs to a collective of female photographers from Iraq, Yemen, Egypt, Iran and Jordan called Rawia. Its goal? A shake up a lot of the stereotypes that have been pressed upon the region. Women of the region as well as men. To do that, Tanya looks for unusual moments that reflect the resilience of her subjects, like this man, accompanied by the sheep he's just bought to break the Ramadan fast. But people in general were finding ways of releasing the stress through humor. But she says her work is never meant to trivialize. So there is a political context prevalent throughout the pictures, but it's subtle and sarcastic. And she's sensitive to the expectations of her various viewers. For me, I am not successful in any of the stories that I do unless I capture both a Western audience as well as the audience in the place that I film. It's a challenge that keeps Tanya Habjuka and her sister photographers always looking out for that next special moment to record. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, East Jerusalem.